Hey everybody, Dan Martell here, and today I wanna to share with you guys some business lessons that I learned driving 85 miles an hour and $130,000 machines across the Mexican desert. And you're probably thinking, where, what business ideas do you get when you do this? Let me share with you guys my strategy. As I go through life, I'm always looking for different inspiration or ideas to apply to business. You know, there's a famous story about Henry Ford where he was visiting a Chicago meat uh, plant and he saw the way they were producing or cutting all these different meats and he applied that to building cars, you know, and I've always done this. And uh, recently on a trip with my brother and my best friends, you know, I, going on this wide open Baja, it's called the Baja 1000 in Mexico, driving these crazy machines for three days. I started seeing some really interesting uh, things they were doing with the group that applies to business. You know, the first thing I want to share with you guys is have a lead. You know, the first day on this trip, we met this guy named Hector. And Hector's only job, his responsibility, is to go first to ensure that there's no obstacles or boulders or uh, sharp turns with a cliff and radio those back to us so that we can avoid them. And if you think about business, having an advisor or mentor, or even your peer group, people that can give you advice that have been there before to kind of give you critical feedback so that you don't make a huge mistake and take your business out. You know, he didn't drive our car and advisors don't run your business, but they're there to give you that input so you can avoid those critical challenges and mistakes that essentially can take you out. So that was the first one. The second is to have a co-pilot, right? Everybody, I think maybe when we registered for this trip, we thought we'd have our own vehicles. And what we realized quickly is you need a co-pilot. You need somebody that's looking at the terrain, that's listening for the car in front of you, that's radioing back the challenges on the, on the terrain and then making sure that you're slowing down or that you're aware of the situation. So in business, you have co-founders. And a lot of people talk about the value of co-founders, but the big thing for me is have somebody that's gonna pull you up when you're feeling down. It sounds like such a subtle thing, but as you go through business, you go through these, these entrepreneurial swings from exclamation mark to question mark, from I'm gonna take over the world to what am I doing with my life? And having somebody that's there for you to help guide you through these moments is critical. And, and I saw that when we were driving through this terrain, having, my, for me, my brother as a co-pilot, ensuring that I was slowing down at the right turn so that we didn't go off the side of a cliff was invaluable. The third lesson that I, I saw was keep it simple. You know, right off the, the beginning, we looked around at all the different cars and we noticed they were all built the same. And when we asked Rob, the owner, why, why they, you know, they didn't use different parts or they, all the cars are the same, he says, because we need to keep it simple so that when we're out there in the middle of the desert and something happens, we know we have the part. So every car has the trail car, or every group has a trail car that has all the parts so that if, if we, much like we did, smash the front end of our car and we have to change the whole uh, steering column, they have the parts with you. And if you think about business, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs try to complicate the way they build their businesses. They have so many different facets and functions or they offer so many products and services that the real thing that's challenging to do, but that is just super impactful is keeping it simple, is not having a bunch of options, but actually having a few so that when you run into issues, you know exactly what's wrong. And I, and I learned this out on the Baja in Mexico. It was really interesting to see how quick they turned around the whole front end of a car. In 25 minutes, they fixed it and we were back on the road. You know, the fourth thing I want to share with you guys is to build a team. When we started off, I figured, well, we're going to have a lead. Somebody's going to guide us through these trails. But I quickly realized that it takes a whole team to even uh, to, to direct a small group like we were. We had the lead car, we had the trail car, and then we had a whole support crew that would meet us on the highway and at different points ensure that we had water and food and gas. And if there was any parts that we had broken, they gave us new parts. Or even in our situation, if you had a car that was just no longer functioning properly, they had an extra car on the back of the trailer that they gave us. You know, and in business, I think that that is the same, where you, you want to make sure that you build a team of people that can help you in areas that you're weak, right? Where you might be really strong at marketing, but not so good on the financial side. Having somebody you can turn to either on your team part-time or as an advisor on a financial part is critical. You know, and, it's, and a lot of entrepreneurs think they have to make all the decisions themselves, and that's just not the case. You know, you can do a lot yourself, but it helps so much to have people you can turn to to really grow your business faster. You know, and the fifth thing I want to leave you guys, the biggest lesson I learned is to scare yourself. Now, a lot of people that are adverse to extreme sports or, you know, they, they fear for their, their personal health, I totally get this, that you're hesitant when I say this. But, you know, in business context, the big thing I want to challenge you guys is, is every day try to do something that scares you. 
right? That might be saying yes to a presentation request. That might be cold calling some customers. That might be firing an employee that's been you, with you for a while, but you know that they're not gonna grow in that role and they could probably do really well somewhere else and you've kept them along too long, right? So in what we were doing, we were, we were pushing the machines as far as they can, but we realized that we had to have faith in the machines, that our thoughts and abilities for what we could do was actually a lot higher and when we challenged ourselves to go there, the machines reacted and we kept on the road and it just gave us more confidence and allowed us to drive better. You know, and I think that that's the same thing in business is if you push yourself outside of your comfort zone, you'll start redefining your comfort zone and having a lot more fun. And, and at the end of the day, it's all about the journey. It's, uh, it's not about the destination. Even though we, we got to do some really cool stuff, the, the real magic in our trip and in business is really the terrain and the views and the people that you meet. So I wanted to share with you guys those five business lessons I learned driving 85 miles an hour crazy across the Baja 1000 trail. I'm even going to leave you guys a clip right now for you guys to watch. I want to ask you to leave a comment below with some of the lessons that you've learned about business and other aspects of your life, maybe sports or other industries. Leave those answers below in the comments and I will see you next Monday. Here's the video. Why is it blinking? Right. I don't know. Are you taking a picture?